Good morning. Happy Friday. Um, I was going to do a... I was going to do a video for St. Patrick's Day. I never ended up getting to it. Um, okay. Put this over here. I'm just like organizing while I'm talking to y'all. And I tried to use that Maybelline thing again this morning. And I didn't like the way it looked. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So I started looking at the directions. Which are right here on the back. No, it ain't. That it is. Wait. Application. Apply with fingers. But it's like really small. Like right there at the very bottom. Right here. It's not wanting to... But anyways, that right there, that dark word right underneath my fingernail is the word application. And it's literally like uh, in the ingredients type area. It's like weird. So I will use it again. And I will use my fingers. But today, well, the reason I only have foundation on is we're going to open my BoxyCharm for the month of March. Which I already know has two products I've already had. There's a big sock here because um, sponges everywhere because I use the, the sock. Um, it's actually really clean. I bleached it before because it was like a random sock. I bleached it and I use only that sock to clean my beauty sponges and then I set them out to dry in the room. But um, back to what I was saying, I'm um, doing my, what, do y'all ever find random lids and you're like, oh, I know what this goes to. My Anastasia contour stick. Okay. Um, But sometimes I'll be up here and I'm like, what does this go to? I got my lid, my calculator I mean. And we got my boxy charm, and we got a Walmart beauty box. I believe I'm supposed to be getting another one, so I don't want to open it. But here's my box. It's really big. We're gonna reach in and try to find the little piece of paper. Oh, somehow it's all the way back here. Okay. For March, it says boxy charm floor flowish flowish. I wish I think that says I love the design I love that bucket I wish they would send us or let us be able to buy things like that in some of these things like it doesn't have to say boxy charm or it could I mean that would be a neat little thing to have like in the background with some flowers in it but I'm not I don't get PR from them so even if they did come out with that they probably wouldn't send it to me and wow it covers me up okay so we're going to have to put this to the side and I'm going to have to reach down and get stuff out of it. Well, I didn't say Lux. I don't get the boxy Lux. Maybe they had to use the Lux box. I grabbed a palette. It says it's by Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. It's so cute on the outside. And... It's a palette. It's like a neutral kind of shades, I guess. Some. They swatch really well. Let's see. Yeah, so far the swatch good. Never used a Beauty Bakery, excuse me, a Beauty Bakery palette. So it's breakfast in bed and, okay, here we go. Beauty Bakery. Not listed on here. I wonder if that's what it meant by a free gift. Okay, well, uh, if anyone knows how much that is, I'll look it up afterwards and I will... Wow. I was supposed to get a Cab Cosmetics Day and Night eyeshadow palette. Is that the one I already have? That might be the one I already have. I don't know. We're just going to reach in. But the Cab Cosmetics one was supposed to be $52. So I'm going to go ahead and put $52 on here. Even though that's not what I got. Because that's what it says I was supposed to get. So I don't know yet what's going on. <laughs> Next thing I grabbed was... It looks like a Ciate. Yeah, Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer. 
Siante London. Okay, oil controlling formulation is infused with botan. It's got a cute little silver box, which I thought, which is why I said Siante, because I saw the little bow on the top. See the little bow? Um, botanical ingredients, including bamboo powder for shine free, sun kissed finish. Super lightweight powder can be swept across cheekbones. For a subtle glow or built up to contour and chisel your features. $28. 28 So let's open it. it. feels really light. Oh, it's beautiful color. But like a perfect one for me. I don't know how light skinned you'd have to be for that to be a contour. Aruba Island. Because contour should be like... I mean, I use... I can't say much, so we're going to put that to the side. Um, but contour should be like a brownish, like a shadow type color, not a warm color. Like a cool tone color, I think, is what I've read. And if you see these bruises, I'm not an abused woman. I was doing laundry the other day, and I... Somehow I hit the inside of the dryer with my arm, like weird, and I've had a bruise two bruises ever since and as you can see like this one's here and then you go around and there's one there so it's like the same time i'm trying to reach in um lavish essential eye collection i will not open these or touch them they will go in a giveaway um essential eye collection five handcrafted vegan friendly brushes to create the most subtle dramatic looks thirty dollars they look really nice and they feel light um, but this is my eye brushes and I don't need any more. And like, this is the, just put foundation and contour. This is powder and blush as well as another one over there. So when it comes to brushes, unless it's really like, oh wow, I'm going to replace this or this other company reached out to me and wants me to test their stuff, then I'm not, I'm not keeping them because... I would rather share it with y'all. So, we're going to put this right here. Alright, next thing. We have a Murad Environmental Shield City Overnight Moisturizer. I have this already. This is one of the things that I already have that they re messaged me and said I would be getting something. I'm going to open it just to show you. I used it for the first time last night, in fact, because I just ran out of my um, L'Oreal one for overnight, which I was really sad about, but I started using this one, and it has those little push-up things, so you don't have to touch the cream, and it's really lightweight, and when I put it on, it felt so good, and my skin feels so soft this morning. It is definitely going in a giveaway, but it's... um. Detoxifying and revitalizing overnight skin overnight, a daily dose of pollution and blue light for electronic devices can accelerate visible signs of aging. Breakthrough formula contains supercharged antioxidants that neutralize pollutants and strengthen skin's barrier while you sleep. $74. I can't make that up. All right. So we got hydrating hybrid. Let me see what this looks like. I believe I have this. I know I have this. Yeah. Okay. It looks like this. It's going to go in a giveaway. Let me grab. It's called Weekend Getaway. Let me grab mine. Should be right here. So I can show you. Here it is. It is a. Let's find it here. Sophie and Maribel. In the exact same shade, weekend getaway. Um, it says hydrating, hydrating hybrid. This hydrating hybrid is a lipstick and balm in one. It's packed with vitamin E to keep those lips silky smooth, and with full coverage satin finished lipstick. Bring this baby with you anywhere. Go. You go and apply when you're in need of a little extra moisture or subtle pop of color. It's a really pretty color. 
Okay, and it felt like there was something else in here. So this must be their other sorry. This must have been like a sorry you got two items you already had before. Um, so I don't know. But the total value is $199. Because I'm not going to add this in. Because this is the Cab Beauty Day and Night um, palette that they talked about. And this is going in a giveaway because I literally was going in my stuff the other day and found this. If I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I got so many palettes. I can't wait to do the declutter. Where did I find it? Yeah, there's mine. So we are going to go ahead and put this baby back in the wrapper and we have another giveaway. Maybe for the best makeup look for the um, autism giveaway, I'll put some of this with some other stuff in a box and it'll be the um, prize. I got some other stuff back here. Good. I thought this was, maybe it wasn't wrapped. You know what? It was wrapped on the outer edge. I almost broke the box. Okay. All right, we're going to put all that back in because we just don't want to mess with that. Okay, so eyeshadow palette. I should probably do it like a giveaway right now, but I would rather add it because, I mean, $74, $52, and then whatever that eye stuff cost, that was, oh, and this. Technically, there's pretty good amount of stuff in here we'll see maybe we'll have a pop-up giveaway soon but it might also be for the best makeup look or whatever for the autism giveaway either way not counting this which is what I want to use but I might reach over there and grab my cab cosmetics eyeshadow palette because that's the one that I'm pretty sure came in this month's box and this is just a gift um, I think they counted wrong unless I bought the cab cosmetics separate, which I can't blame them for. That's on me. If if I got that in a boxy charm, let me know if if you've watched for a while and you know. So we are going to go ahead and pull. Last night was a wash day, and I've been using this L'Oreal gloss stuff, and my hair is so shining. And I'm going to talk about my hair training journey if anyone wants to when I'm finished um I had to backtrack a little bit because you have to listen to your hair all right um so we're gonna take the Ciate London bronzer on a bronzer brush I'm gonna use this big one by Morphe that I use To, I'm going to put some in the palm of my hand. Was like more on that side than this side. I'm gonna take this powder brush and just kind of buff it into the skin with the powder because I don't like it to be like way out there, but I like it to be able to be seen to y'all. So, and I don't have a blush in there, so I'm gonna grab my Tarte Captivating Blush. And I think 
something happened to my favorite blush brush. It's like, okay, I might have just got it to fluff back out. <laughs> we'll see. I think it's also the light color because Eric's been messing with it again. So we're going to take this highlighting brush. And what's the first highlighter I come to? Um, Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. So it's like this little light color. This is a mini. So this is like $20. or. But I am putting this up today. And I did go on sephora.com last night for some reason on the app i can't remember why but they have some natasha denona stuff on sale for like 28 dollars. just so you know some of the blush and glows some of the blushes um we're gonna go ahead and spray this mm. you know what this reminds me of this cab thing day and night when you look at it, I don't have the original, but doesn't that look like a Huda Beauty palette? I can't remember which one. Like, do y'all see it? Or is it just me when I'm looking at it, I'm noticing something that truly isn't there. Let's do our brows real quick. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. And what do y'all think I should do with those four items? That would be great. To know what y'all think I should do. Should I do like a best makeup look or which any best makeup look I would record my little sister picking because she is nine and I have no problem adding to the giveaway. Wow, across my screen, just now, my niece's name is Kira, right? And I'm sitting here doing my makeup, and all of a sudden, a thing came across from CNN, Kira's ex-boyfriend, and I'm like, she doesn't have a boyfriend? She's seven. She's six. Six, seven. She's in kindergarten, about to be in first grade. Okay, we're going to go into Naked which is just a transition shade. And it's literally, as it says, naked. It doesn't show. I might add Georgia Peach to it. Give me a second. I do like these names. Yeah, let's go ahead and add some Georgia Peach to it. It doesn't show up either. So it kind of works out. But it darkens it a little bit because... Depending on the kind of look you're going for, like I'm going for like an everyday type look. So I want the transition shade to just be a tad bit lighter than my skin color or darker. I wanted to increase the glossiness of that. All right. So now I'm going to go into terracotta. It's like a dark, um, like that. That's the third shade on the top row. I like that. I don't know how long this has been sitting over there. I might have bought it separately. I 
I'm not picky. I just go with the flow. So, But I'm very glad that they offered a discount because I did buy some things. Like I saw in there, um, they gave me a discount code for the store that's going on right now. And I bought some things like some Rare Beauty. I mean, um, a Rare Beauty primer and some item beauty things. And I'm going to go to Sephora online and buy some more. Um, I want to go into... Pardon me, let's go into that, but it doesn't show up very well. There's Burgundy. Twinkle, twinkle. I mean, because I'm not really going anywhere. Golden hour. Let's go with golden hour. It's on the bottom row, third color. Um, but since I'm trying to go through this hair... Um, for years I've washed my hair every day every day for as long as I can remember because in high school I started getting like um, sores in my head and I got my hair permed in high school it was curly and which is funny because it was straight as a bone before that and now as I'm getting older my hair, as I'll see. The curls have been long gone. Long gone. I cut them off years and years ago. But they would never fall out. They would, they would just uh, sit there and sit there forever. I didn't think I was ever going to get rid of them. And um, I finally was able to... I finally cut the rest of them off. Because my hair grows so fast. And I wanted it to be certain length at all times, so I didn't want to just cut all the curls off because I was done with them. But anyways, that's off. Um, I um, but to do your hair, I always used to wash it every morning. I'll be honest, there was times in my life where I actually took a bath three times a day before work. After work and before bed. I don't know why. It's just a thing. I think I was on the verge of being um, OCD. <laughs> but. Um, anyways. I saw they had this shampoo conditioner. Spritz spray. Spritz spray by Vior. V-I-O-R. I think that's the brand. I could be wrong. Um, and. I was like, oh, I'll try that. So I bought, it was $7 on their sale thing. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll buy two of them in case it works. Because who knows if I'll be able to find it and maybe it'll last long enough. I haven't got to the dry shampoo part of what I had. And then I ran into the same problem that caused me to start. We'll do a video on this, my journey. Um... Let's just do the makeup right now because I'm getting off on a tangent again. Um, we're going to use a Tarte in the shade Burgundy Eyeliner. I think. Maybe not. Hence the reason I said I need to do a um, declutter. I need to get to that. Um, let's use this Ulta Beauty Brown one. Put some mascara on. 
the Lancome Tiente Idol. Sorry this ended up so long. I keep going off on tangents. But the parts I used of this palette, it's pretty nice, so I'm glad I got it. <laughs> Anyways, BoxyCharm is like 20 something dollars a month. It's like 20, it's almost $30 a month now. I think it was like 25 and then it went up to 27 and now it's almost $30 when it, by the time it comes out of your account. And my value is $199, so you figure $199. One nine nine minus thirty. I already know it's gonna be one sixty nine. So technically, you're paying thirty dollars for um one hundred sixty nine dollars worth of product. It's like a mystery box, and you actually get your money's worth. Even if you don't like the products, I've said it before. If you can afford this box and you can afford to splurge a little bit, even if you don't like the products, can you think about all year round at least one to two products per box that you don't want or want anything to do with? Um, you could take and put in a box and you can make it gifts for women in your family, even men, some men like moisturizers, um, the shampoos and stuff you get sometimes, um, you could do, if you'd like, oh, I'm not going to use this. This is a waste of money. It's not a waste of money if you put it up because you could save those items like me giveaways but also i give stuff to my mom i give stuff to my friends i just sent a big old box of makeup to my friends in massachusetts um so yeah i'm just letting y'all know just so you know <laughs> i don't do giveaways to give makeup to my friends for those of you who have said in the past that i just find an excuse to give makeup to my friends through my channel no i send them makeup i spent 30 something dollars on that box and that's not including what's inside it so i will talk to y'all in the next one and i'm gonna go ahead and record this walmart one and actually no i'm not i hope y'all have a wonderful safe weekend and i will get to that box watch the mail have the other one today i'll talk to y'all later